Hello everyone, my name is David Rincon and today I'm going to talk about an important company called Kathmandu Holdings Limited. Also, I'm going to explain the company's current goals and missions and identify if the company's strategies are working towards achieving these goals. This company creates a different experience for their customers with accessible and multifunctional items that offer something for everyone. The quality of the products are a key factor of the company for three main reasons, original, engineered to perform, and technically ingenious. Kathmandu is a retailer that provides consumers with the appropriate equipment to fulfill their adventurous dreams. They have stores located in New Zealand, Australia, and UK. Kathmandu are competing quite well within the industry of sports and clothing retail. Despite the tough economic times that our retail industry is currently facing, although the organization is very open regarding how they acquire their stock by respecting the human rights of others. Their products sell at a very high price. Most products sold within the store are for the winter months. The macro general environment conform the political, economical, social, technological, demographic, legal, and ecological. The political aspects that can influence Kathmandu are superannuation increases from 9% 12% over a seven year period. ATO 2013 has an effect on any industry that requires labor or staff. International Monetary Fund The International Monetary Fund classifies trade barriers as restrictive when tariffs total at least 25% of a product price. Free Trade Agreements Australia is currently in free trade agreements negotiations with China, Japan, and South Korea. Government Funding in certain activities can create an opportunity for new products to be sold. The economical aspects that can influence Kathmandu are the rise and fall of the Australian dollar will influence the exporting of products overseas. If the Australian dollar increases, it is more expensive for other countries to import Australian uh, products if the Australian dollar decreases. It is cheaper for countries to import our products. Interest rates. Interest rates can dictate the cash flow of a business. Unemployment rates. With high unemployment rates, consumers have less income and therefore what are considerable luxury items are no longer an option. And tariffs that can influence the demand for consumers within an economy. The social aspects that can influence Kathmandu are Advances in social, 17% of the online shopping uh, market is consumers aged between 15 and 24 years of age and another 23.4% aged between 25 to uh, 34 years of age. An increase in working hours, sport participation is expected to decrease over 2014-2015. An increase in health awareness as individuals become more health conscious, their purchase in camping sporting equipment may increase. The social aspects that can influence Kathmandu are advances in social 17% of the online shopping uh, market is consumers aged between 15 and 24 years of age and another 20. 3.4% age between 25 to uh, 34 years of age. An increase in working hours, sport participation is expected to decrease over 2014 2015. An increase in health awareness as individuals become more health conscious, their purchase in camping sporting equipment may increase. The technological aspects that can influence Kathmandu are internet shopping, advances in mediums, advances of internet, iPhones, iPads and laptops allow individuals to view a product on a website anywhere, anytime, internet cookies.
the demographic aspects that can influence Kathmandu are the aging population is increasing over time. Those who are entering into retirement have a lot more leisure time that I tend to use that time in the outdoors. The legal aspects that can influence Kathmandu are the Fair Work Act 2009, the Competition and Consumers Act is the main government act in relation to the retail industry. The ecological aspects that can influence Kathmandu are seasonal changes and natural disasters. The global aspects that can influence Kathmandu are the global financial crisis of 2008-2009 had great effects on consumer sentiment. Kathmandu is competing within the industry of sports, including retailing. Therefore, the microenvironment conditions result from the behaviors of other organizations in the industry, suppliers to the industry, customers of the industry, and organizations attempting to enter the industry. In Australia, the overall attractiveness of the industry is medium, as the trade to new entrants is medium strong. Competition and substitutes are medium. The burden of power of suppliers are low and the power of buyers is high. Kathmandu has a number of competitors, all who have different strategy, strategic goal and strategic advantage. The following have been identified as Kathmandu's competition or potential competition. Super Retail Group, Anaconda, Acid Spousal PTY, Mountain Designs. At present, Kathmandu is meeting the needs of most stakeholders. It has been able to identify who their stakeholders are, what their stakeholders require, and has implemented strategies in order to satisfy those needs. The only stakeholder who needs are not all being met are the customers. Customers are important stakeholders to the organizations as they provide the funds to allow the organization to remain in business and grow. At present, some customers are not satisfied with the communication regarding the return of products. Kathmandu should take this into consideration when they complete their strategic goal and include strategies to fight this issue. The vision of Kathmandu is to inspire and enable people to live their dreams of travel and adventure. Their mission and goals include ensuring the business remains sustainable financially and environmentally, attracting and retaining quality staff who will keep to carry out the company's vision, increasing sales growth up to a variety of strategies. Besides this, Kathmandu has affiliations with charities such as the Red Cross, Australian Welfare Conservancy, and the Australian Himalayan uh, Foundation. Financials. It is current asset value larger than their liabilities, which allows Kathmandu to meet their current financial obligations. Not only is it generally good for the company's finances, it also gives investor, investors and shareholders confidence to keep investing within the company. In logistics, Kathmandu is extremely committed to long-term relationships with their suppliers. Operations, Kathmandu designs many of the products and in doing so, part of their design process is their uh, testing stage. Their products perform international tests that create the highest standards. At Mandu Logistics, Kathmandu has stores in Australia, New Zealand and uh, UK. And one of their strategic goals is to continue opening additional retail stores within these countries. Marketing and sales, I previously mentioned, Kamandu has opened itself into the online market which assists to provide products to consumers in more than 40 countries. Online sales are 49% in the six months ending January 2014 and now accounts for 4.7% of total sales.
strengths. Kathmandu has an extensive product range that covers both outdoor and travel clothing equipment. The size of the company is approximately 1,000 to 5,000 employees, 170 stores across Australia, New Zealand and UK. Weaknesses, almost all products sold for uh, winter seasons. Many customers are currently dissatisfied with Kathmandu's communication regarding returning products. The opportunities, Kathmandu is uh, in the North American adventure wear market as part of an international expansion, introducing new products and continuing to develop its online capabilities through uh, its website. Threats, competitors, economic crisis, and growth of cotton prices. Kathmandu Holdings has implemented a number of strategies to remain both financially and environmentally sustainable. Maintaining socially aware, these strategies include minimizing the environmental footprint by reducing waste, reducing energy and greenhouse emissions, increasing efficiency and through product sustainability and stewardship, respecting human rights by committing to favorable law, labor practices and safe working conditions, developing their team by attracting and retaining the best people for Kathmandu and looking to further develop the career skills of all staff. The most important corporate strategies that Kathmandu should implement are international expansion. The most suitable country to expand over the next five years is Colombia in South America. The main reason is because the Eurozone is about to collapse and the United States is struggling out of their deepest recession since the World War II. This country represents an excellent market opportunity for growing and expansion in the long term because there are not many sports clothing industry like Kathmandu. For that country, it will be extremely attractive to have that kind of retails. Diversification. Kathmandu should implement this strategy selling products of footwear, equipment, accessories and services. Kathmandu should implement equipment uh, for sports such as rugby, AFL, soccer, cricket, golf and tennis. Australian government states that 70% uh, of Australian people bought sports clothing to practice regularly. The most important business strategy that Kathmandu should implement is differentiation strategy. The cost competitive advantage can easily disappear with the introduction of a new competitor or new technology. If Kathmandu offers a unique product or service, it is harder to maintain an edge in the market based on price alone. The companies must offer something to the consumer besides just a low price. The most important network strategies that Kathmandu should implement is strategic alliances. Kathmandu should implement this strategy because they permit the company to pursue an opportunity more quickly. The BF Corporation is an excellent opportunity for Kathmandu in a long-term view. Their vision and values are similar to Kathmandu, they focus on constant innovation using deep research and uh, insights. With these islands, um, the company can go globally with establishment platforms in the United States. Thank you very much for listening. My name is David Rincon.